now that we learned how we can light our scene using an SD array, let's actually see how we can light our scene without using any SD array, but only using the Corona Sun. Um, but in a better, more controlled way. So if I go on the top viewport, actually, first of all, let's get rid of our SDRI, go to scene right here, right click and hit clear. All right. And let's turn back to the environment. Okay. Yeah. If we go on the top view, right here and right here on the plus icon there is a tab called system right here and we will use the daylight system it it creates some uh, a window where it asks you if you want to use the physical camera exposure control blah 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 um, so press no, I don't want to, and click near the center, make a small north star, and just drag your sun away from the option right here. And we can actually take this and set it exactly on the center. Just like that. And now, if we select the sun right here and we go on the modify, here we have the daylight parameters. Right here on the sunlight, just select the corona sun. And on the skylight, just leave it on the skylight. And right here on the right, you have all the corona sun options we had before like intensity, size, and so on. And we can also add a Corona Sky environment. I will add it. And right here on the setup, you can actually use some controls like time to control your sun. So I will go inside the camera and first of all i will once again get rid of all the interactive light mix, light mix elements we created so here we go delete them scene set up light mix here we go and now we can start the interactive first of all let's make sure that the corona Sky is the one in use. Yeah, okay. And let's just drop this inside here so we can have some more control later. But for now, let me show you what we can do with our sun. So, um, let me select this sun real quick. Here we go, select it. And on the setup, you can actually set the hour you want the sign to be in. For example, if I go for 6 and 45 minutes, it will be sunrise. It would be something like uh, having a sunrise, soft lighting, and so on. Um, if, we, if I go for 12, it would be something like that. If I go for 23, it's night time. If I go for something like that, again, night time. If I go for three, it's something like that. For example, let's just go for seven and 45. Do I want 745? Maybe I go for 
715 or 655 maybe or 630 let's leave it that way for now and I also want you to look right here on the top while we do all of that because while I select the the Sun this is not the only control we have here because we can also go on the north direction and we can change the angle of our Sun and the best part of all of this is that all of this is realistic lighting because it's based on realistic lighting conditions we could create something like that but the general rule is that we need the sun and the light to be 90 degrees or even 180 degrees on the opposite side of the camera so we will go for something like could actually go for something like that because it's a general rule and no one will make us to follow it if we don't want to now I went over the top but it's okay um, let's go for 333 and 366 maybe Three forty four, three fifty five. Um, three fifty five is actually good, but I want the sun to be on the here, maybe. No, this is the sky. I don't know why this is here. Um, but this I want the environment to be uh, maybe 1.2 let's go for 1 for now and the Sun I want the Sun to be softer it's too much right now the rest does nothing and maybe make the size bigger 7 to make it softer or even 9 Yeah, I actually like this. Let's go for this lighting. Let's keep it right here. Take a look on the inside. Not bad. I like it. All right. Let's go for that. And that's pretty much how you set up your sun. And uh, before we close this, I will go on the material editor. And if you remember, I make an instance of our skylight. And some general rules that I like to follow is that I make the fake horizon blur on 0 0.1. What's that? Is that he right here is the horizon and this blurs it. So if I go for 0 0.1, it make a smoother transition. Um, right here on to turbidity, how how you spell that, I'm not sure. Um, the lowest you can go is 1.7. And what's the difference? Actually, if you go on higher numbers, it gives it your it gives your sunlight and your skylight, sorry, um, a tinted aesthetic, let's say it, I'm not sure, but I like to keep it on 1.7 or even 2.2 .2 around these values generally. Let's go for 1.7 for now. This is the altitude. Let's go for 100 meters or 500. Yeah. Here we are fine this is the ground so basically if i set the ground to a white color 
this will light up our ceiling. Can you see it? And if I set this to dark, it will make our ceilings darker. Let's keep it on the default for now. And here are the clouds. If I enable the clouds, maybe you can see here. Um, you actually can't, but maybe if I go outside, you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. If I, yeah, here are the light, the lights, um, the clouds, sorry. Here are the clouds and you can actually modify them. For example, if I set the amount to one, it will create many clouds and this actually will result to a overcast like scenario. Um, if I set the amount to 0 0.1, a few clouds, if I set it to 0 0.5, which is the default, a few clouds, the variety, you can have many different clouds like this, or you can have just the same cloud pretty much over and over. Um, let's keep the default. This is the altitude. If you go for 5000, your, your clouds will be seen to be higher. If you go for less, they will look closer. And yeah. That's that's all pretty much. And 